what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Brian's Jerky Journey. This is going to be episode number 55. I am your beef jerky loving host in the place to be, the notorious Brian G. And this week we're going to actually be doing a recap of the jerky I received around National Jerky Day uh, from Smoke and Oak. Uh, it's quite a bit of product. I'm going to actually uh, reference you back right now to that actual video uh, to showcase what was out there. Uh, what I'm basically going to do for this episode, because there's so much product that they sent, this is probably one of the more, um, the, the bigger samples sent to me by a vendor. Uh, I'm only going to showcase three of them and the different types. So uh, let's look back to that video and then afterwards we'll come back and we'll start that showcase. Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to say happy National Jerky Day over from the, the people here, well, me here at uh, Brian's Jerky Journey. The notorious Brian G. Um, hope everyone has a really nice Friday, especially today being National Jerky Day. And um, to honor National Jerky Day, uh, right now I just wanted to showcase what I just got in the mail this week to review in a future jerky journey, as well as what I'm going to be re reviewing in my next jerky journey, which should be episode number 48. So, uh, talking about first what I received earlier in the mail this week. I received it from Leidenhurst, Ohio based smoke and oat jerky. Smoke and oat oak jerky. Smoking oak jerky. And they sent me quite an assortment of stuff. And uh, I'm just going to go through it real quick here. Um, first of its kind that I've seen thus far, that I've, uh, however, I've heard of, um, basically beef jerky in legit uh, fruit roll up style. So meat roll up style beef jerky. And they sent me two types. They sent me a beef hot pepper and a beef teriyaki. So that should be good. And then they sent me an assortment of sticks and uh, jerky. So uh, they actually sent me an assortment of um, elk and venison sticks and jerky, uh, buffalo stick, beef spicy stick, jumbo mild beef stick, and a mini mild beef stick. And then on the jerky side, um, they sent over a buffalo jerky as well, as well as a mild tenderloin and honey tenderloin jerky uh, samples for me to review in a future episode. So um, stay tuned for that when that happens. Uh, this probably might be a two or three parter uh, given how much is, uh, is here for me to review. <clears throat> and then uh, for my next episode uh, 48, I talked about them already, but the, um, the nation's first jerky store in honor of National Jerky Day, uh, the Old Town Temecula House of Jerky out of Temecula, California. So I'll be reviewing that on my next jerky journey. Uh, won't you join me on that one? And um, hope you guys have enjoyed the journey thus far and uh, have a great National Jerky Day. Okay, and we're back. So, um, on that National Jerky Day post, you saw the different types of jerky that were out there. So we have jerky that is made kind of almost like a fruit roll-up, so a jerky meat roll-up. And then we have sticks, traditional jerky, and um, um, jumbo sticks. So jerky sticks, uh, jumbo and regular size. So uh, I'm going to do one of each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, because I am well actually they sent me a hot pepper so I think I'm not going to just I'm going to do the hot pepper one. So this is a hot pepper um, jerky roll up and then we will do something on the more exotic side. So this is an elk stick and last but not least actually got a little mini ones here We'll do some of the honey tenderloin jerky. So those will be the three that I'll review here, and then I'll just do my rankings for the uh, remainder of the product um, down in the description li uh, line below. But Smoke and Oak is the, the brand name. Um, but much thanks to those uh, people over there for sending that to us. Uh, quick 60-second recap as part of the, the situation. Um, again, just trying to stay busy. Um, looking for prospective roles, getting my kids through their extended school year piece of school, which was in the month of July. Um, again, now it's pretty much gone down to about a dozen companies that I'd speak, I've spoken to, um, and I've actually interviewed with a couple of them. Unfortunately, it just didn't uh, work out in the end with either one of them. But I have a handful of options in the pipeline currently, and it's just given this time of the year, the dog days of summer, month of August, people are on vacation, so it's gonna take even longer, probably, um, than normal during this time, but still trying to stay busy. Uh, financially, we're in good shape right now, even though there's no federal unemployment uh, at the time, uh, for the time being. Um, so we'll just kind of take it from there and um, do some work around the house, try to resume some work around the house. 
um, keep my kids sane and safe, <laughs> um, and then get them ready to go back to school, which right now is looking at, uh, at uh, like the middle of September, and going remote until the beginning of November for one, and then after Thanksgiving for the other, and then we'll kind of evaluate how it goes from there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much kind of how things are going right now. Um, trying to stay sane and safe, and I hope you are as well. So let's go back to the jerky now. We'll look at the, uh, um, I'm gonna look at the, 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 the uh, roll up. So this is beef hot pepper. So these are gonna be very uh, different to rank because you know there's different styles. So I can't necessarily rank one um, when it comes to tenderness and texture um, and then chewiness because it can vary based off the, the you know the style of the meat. So um, I've never had a roll up a jerky roll up before. It's been God knows how long since I've had a fruit roll up. Um, but yeah, let's give this one a, a shot. This one came up wrapped. So initial scent, let's look at the initial scent for it. So this is the beef pepper here. So it's so cool. I mean, this is the whole, people talk about the whole concept of beef jerky. Oh, beef jerky to me tastes like shoe, um, you know, the, high, the, the heel of a shoe, it's rough, it's tough. You know, it's tough. But, um, I personally like seeing these options when they're available. So again, I mean, it's just standard jerky. I mean, uh, it's thinner, so it should be able to tear fairly easily. And um, I didn't really get much of an initial scent off of it, but I'm sure as I get more of a scent and smell aspect of it, um, I'm probably going to smell more of um, any hotness of the hot pepper. So, um, so I think I'm going to give that a three right here for a uh, tenderness texture initial scent. And then let's look at the scent and smell. Again, not really smelling anything, um, you know, right here. Uh, as it relates to the what the scent is uh, and what, how it's going to taste, but um, it's definitely piquing my interest to see um, how it will chew and how it will taste in the end. So I will give it a three as well for scent and smell, and let's see how this chews and tastes. Mm. Yep, that's hot pepper. Mm -mm. Wow. And it's definitely chewy. <clears throat> I'm getting the heat right now. Mm. Mm. I would definitely constitute this as a road trip jerky. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Mm -mm. I like that. I really like that. Good. You can get that a four. Four for chewiness and taste. Overall score. All right. On to the next one. I was going to go with the... Uh, I need tenderloin jerky. That's kind of standard. I'll go to the stick next. This is the elk stick. So it's like a smoked sausage of sorts. Hey guys, sorry about that. Actually had a little issue. She wants jerky. I don't know what to say. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, honey. It's okay, it's okay. Here we go, here we go. Sorry, my, uh, I had to pause the video because my, uh, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> a little bit of a, uh, an issue. My um, vegetarian wife had to uh, interrupt me because they were actually heading out. Um, they had a, um, we have a next door neighbor. We have a next door neighbor with a in-ground pool and we're in the middle of a heat wave and um, they invited them over to use the pool, so. Um, sorry about that guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, my younger dog's got some separation anxiety issues and seeing them not have to drive, but rather just walk over the next door at the neighbor's house, got her really freaked out. So, um, I had to pause it to just kind of appease her and bring it down here so I can finish off the rest of this review with her here. So if you hear the whining in the background, that's why it's because of this little girl right here, my Clarabelle. So, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's dig into the stick aspect, the elk stick. Clarabelle, it's okay. 
It's okay. So again, it's almost like a smoked sausage stick. So tenderness and texture, I know, honey, I know. Tenderness and texture aspect are gonna be kind of standard. All right, sorry, I said a letter outside. Um, probably can't keep this, uh, I gotta go quick here, so. Uh, yeah, so again, smoked sausage stick. Again, it's processed, so it's kind of, um, you know, the tenderness, it's really not tender, it's kind of formed, so. Can't really rank this, so I'm just gonna tell you how it tastes, how it chews and smells. Again, elk, I mean, can't really get much of a, cell, a scent off of it. You can see some seeds in the middle there. It's probably attributed to the meat. So let's, uh, let's see how it chews and tastes. Mm. Not good. Mm -mm, that's really good. <clears throat> so let's just finish it off with the, um, the honey tenderloin jerky. So your traditional jerky. So I um, nicely wrapped in here, although you know, this is this, this is a sample, so it's not coming in with a moisture pack. So um, the shelf life on these things are much shorter. You gotta really refrigerate it, um, or freeze it for that matter. But uh, yeah, so let's take the uh, honey tenderloin jerky out. Oop, almost dropped it, caught it though. Tenderness, texture, initial scent. Not really getting much of a scent aspect here. Um, I, think it, I think it lends to the fact if it's in a sealed bag with the moisture packs in there, it's gonna preserve that scent that when you open it and you break the seal, you're gonna get that scent right off the bag when you're taking it out. So um, it's almost kind of like non-applicable and incomplete there, but tenderness and texture, it's got your standard jerky uh, tenderness and texture aspect. It's a nice thick piece. You can tear it with minimal effort. So I will give that overall a four out of five in tenderness, texture, so scent, and initial scent. And then scent and smell, again, it's honey tenderloin, so I'm not really, decided being called honey tenderloin, I'm not, getting a honey scent. So I don't know how it's gonna taste. Um, I don't know really what to make of it uh, in terms of what the flavor is gonna be other than what's, it's, what it is labeled on the bag. So, um, but knowing that I know it says it's honey tenderloin, line, I'm expecting it to, to have kind of that sweetness taste to it. So I'm gonna give it a four for scent and smell. And uh, as we uh, wrap up this special recap, uh, limited edition review, episode number 55 of Smoke and Oak, let's see how it chews and tastes. Now, the tenderloin, you got a hint of what the tenderloin is. Um, tenderloin is a little bit more of a thicker quality. I am getting a little bit of the honey. So, so that's good. I like that. So I'm going to give that a four for um, chewiness and taste, for an overall score of that. So I'll do it for this special limited edition, now, episode number 55, Brian's Jerky Journey, uh, showcasing the smoking oak. Uh, like this video, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about this video, if you've had this product before, and what you suggest, what you don't suggest, as well as other items I might not have tried yet that you would recommend for me to try in a future jerky journey. You can uh, subscribe to my channel here. Uh, you can um, also disable notifications if you don't want to be bombarded with, with, uh, with options, but I would really love to build up subscriber counts here and share this jerky journey with, with people who might otherwise want to enjoy the same type of adventure. <laughs> so, but yeah, so you can like my video, uh, my channel here, you can watch prior videos here. And then you can look down below um, in the description line where you can see my other social media channels where you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and see the notorious Brian G and Brian's Jerky Journey on the IG. So that'll do it for this episode number 55 of Brian's Jerky Journey. I hope you've enjoyed this journey with me and you'll join me on the next one. Thanks. Thank you for watching Brian's Jerky Journey. If you don't, not jerky, you suck.